honestly, a lot of people just guess what it is that they're gonna charge. And that makes some sense because look, pricing, your thoughts, your experience, and your skills can be really challenging because that's abstract. But there's more to project pricing than just guessing a number, slapping it onto a proposal, sending it off to a prospect, crossing your fingers, and hoping for the best. You really need to have a more detailed process than that as to how and why you come up with your pricing. If you're an aspiring freelancer or you're somebody who's just getting started doing a skill like graphics design, video editing, art, or anything like that, but you're feeling stuck, then you're gonna love this video. Hey, I'm Jamie the Marketing Nerd and welcome back to part two of our series on my best book recommendations for new freelancers. I've read over 150 books and counting on business, psychology, and marketing, so trust me, I've seen plenty of these lists. That's why you're gonna wanna stick around through the end of this video because this is a pretty unique list that you're not gonna find anywhere else. But before we get started, if you want more of the best advice to market smarter, not harder, then make sure that you go down there, subscribe to the show, and hit that bell to be notified every time I post a new video weekly with new actionable tips. Also, if you could please do me a huge favor and leave this video a like while you're down there too, doing that seriously does help me grow this channel and grow our community. Thank you so much in advance for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's dive right into it. We interrupt this program to bring you The Marketing Nerd Show, starring Jamie, the marketing nerd. Grab a seat, take out your notes, and let's get into the show. So in our last series about the best books for copywriters, I mentioned that I was going to be releasing a totally new list that's more specific to freelancers. So if you're somebody who does a skill like photography, videography, graphics design, art, music, marketing services, anything like that, and you wanna learn how to make your first dollar, and you wanna learn how to take that first dollar and scale it into a side hustle or eventually into something that can replace your full-time income, then you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to these books. In the next three videos, we're talking about nine total books in the following three sections. Mindset, strategy, and tactics. So today is part two of a three-part series. I think it's really important not just to throw you a list of books, but also to make sure that you understand where each of these books fits in your professional development. Since we're moving on to the strategy section, now it's time to talk about book number four on the list. Book number four is called The Psychology of Graphics Design Pricing by Michael Yanda. This book might say graphics design in the title, but it's actually relevant for all types of freelancers and even agency work. Pretty much all types of knowledge work could benefit from reading this book. A lot of aspiring, beginner, and honestly, even intermediate freelancers really don't get how to price projects. Honestly, a lot of people just guess what it is that they're gonna charge. And that makes some sense because look, pricing, your thoughts, your experience and your skills can be really challenging because that's abstract. But there's more to project pricing than just guessing a number, slapping it onto a proposal, sending it off to a prospect, crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. You really need to have a more detailed process than that as to how and why you come up with your pricing. That's what this book is gonna fix. I think the reason why a lot of people struggle with this concept is because a lot of freelancers also don't get the math behind business. The math side of business and all that information might be a little bit dense, but if you wanna be successful, you really have to get a basic understanding of some of these following essential business math concepts. Your overhead costs, your production costs, and a basic concept of profitability particularly when it comes to being profitable, including taxes and other business expenses like health insurance. This book is full of really cool worksheets, step-by-step -step directions, and tons of helpful examples to help you wrap your head around how it is to profitably price freelance projects, particularly for knowledge work. You're gonna learn how to understand the math behind building a thriving freelance business all in a really simple way. It's almost like a freelancer business math textbook, if that didn't sound really boring. <laughs> if you're not already making a full-time living income from your freelance business, then you don't understand the concepts in this book 
and I can't recommend enough that you pick it up right now. By the way, all the links to the books that we're talking about today are going to be in the description as well as the first comment. So if you could please support my channel by making sure that you buy any of these books if you're interested in them through those links. Now let's talk about book number five on the list. The next book on this list is called This Is Marketing by Seth Godin. Now look, I'm not putting this book on the list because I'm trying to say it's the best book on marketing that exists, but it's on this list because I think it offers a great comprehensive overview of some of the most important concepts you really need to understand in marketing. And it also offers a great overview of what good marketing looks like across many different platforms. I'm not really sure how else to describe it besides kind of a distilled version of some of the other best ideas in the industry, but available all in one place. You're going to get an overview of some of the most important concepts in marketing like the goal of marketing is to create change in people by making them take action. Why the market decides the success of your idea or business model, not you. Why you should be using psychographics instead of demographics not thinking of your audience as customers, how to position your business and your products, a very simple competitive strategy process, why you need to understand that nobody needs your product, ABT, always be testing, and kind of an introduction to funnel hacking or scrapbooking as Godin calls it in this book. Anyone who's already familiar with marketing probably recognizes some or all of those concepts. But if you find yourself not familiar with stuff like ABT, stuff like psychographics, and other of those concepts, then I highly recommend you pick up this book. Overall, This Is Marketing is kind of like you took a lot of the best ideas in the industry and threw them together in a blender, but in a good way. All right, now it's time to talk about book number six. The next book on our list is Ask Gary V by Gary Vaynerchuk. This book is a real technician's manual, and it's something that I recommend to anybody who wants to become skilled at digital marketing. Think of this book as a Swiss army knife for digital strategy ideas. This book is particularly focused on social media strategies, but there's a lot for intermediate and advanced freelancers here too. In this book, Gary gives straightforward, actionable advice about everything from building a business from scratch to scaling a business, to building a company culture, to leadership, to customer psychology, to Facebook, to Instagram, to the future of social media, to self-confidence, to gratitude, to the darker side of entrepreneurship, and so much more. Although as time has went on from this book, some of the social media platforms mentioned have either changed significantly or maybe even gone away completely. But the core concepts discussed for social media strategy are applicable broadly to any social media platform. Plus, all of the relevant social media platforms today are touched on in this book. I think it's a great read for intermediate and advanced freelancers, and I also think it's a great read for anyone who's looking for step-by-step -step actionable strategies that can be broadly applied to pretty much any social media platform. I have even more to say about this book and about Gary's other books, so if you want to know more about that, then check out my video here. So that's books four through six on our list. Definitely make sure that you go down there and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified because you're not going to want to miss the next part of this series. Also, remember to check the description below and the first comment of this video for links to all the books that we mentioned. Now you have an incredible resource on how to get started with freelancing, but what about your next steps? Is there a way that you could be handheld step-by-step -step entirely through the process of creating your first sales funnel to close clients online? Yes, yes there is. That's exactly why I created the free one month Marketing Nerd Sales Funnel copywriting course. It's designed to teach you the A to Z of creating a strategy, how to understand your customer psychology, and then you're gonna be led step by step on how to write some of the most important assets like your landing page, your sales funnel, any advertising, and all the good stuff like that. You definitely don't want to miss it, so make sure that you go to jamiedorshuk.com slash funnel to get your free spot. If you want to join a community of smart business owners and marketers just like you, then come join our secret society, the Marketing Nerd Crew. It's a place to connect not just with me, but with each other and get free advice from other business owners and professional marketers. 
You can join that group at jamiedorshuk.com slash crew. You can find the link to that in the description below, plus all the other parts of the Marketing Nerd community, as well as all the books that we mentioned in today's video. Thanks so much for watching this far. If you give any of these books a read, then please leave me a comment below and let me know some of your favorite things that you learned. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss the next part of this series. If you like this list, then please go down there and like this video and share it with a friend too because doing that seriously does help grow our community. If you want to continue the conversation that we just had here, then I think that you would really love my last series on the best books for copywriters. That one is a little bit specific to marketing, but there's also some incredible sales books that we touch on there too. Or if you missed part one of this freelancer book series, then you don't wanna miss that. Make sure that you go back there and check that out. Just check out these two videos that popped up on the screen for you. I hand selected them for you, so I know you're gonna love them. Thank you so much once again for joining me for today's video. I really appreciate you, your time, and your attention, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.